inside the Yamazaki Whiskey Museum. Located next to the Whiskey Library on the first floor is the paid tasting counter, including the Yamazaki brand some 30 varieties of whiskey from around the world are available, as well as limited editions and component whiskeys unique to Yamazaki Distillery. You can sample a range of whiskeys savoring the differences in their flavors, and don't miss this chance to discover the whiskey of your choice. The tasting counter, or the bar, is open daily between 10 to 4.45. Each whiskey is served straight in the volume of 15 milliliters per shot. While I was at the tasting counter, after my tour, I decided to try three exclusive component whiskeys sold only in this distillery. Not to be confused with the Puncheon, Sherry, and Mizunata special edition bottlings that show the bottling year on the label and sold retail some years, these are strictly just the components that makes the current Yamazaki Age 12 whiskey and can only be obtained at the distillery bar. The first component whiskey I tried was the Yamazaki 12 Puncheon. This Yamazaki is named Puncheon because this particular component whiskey was aged in Puncheon cask made of American white oak. Puncheon are the second most common cask type used to mature sherry and one of the larger cask types in general used to mature whiskey. Yamazaki Punch-In cask hold about 480 liters of whiskey each. The taste of this component whiskey reminds me more of a Hakushu-esque fruity taste more than a Yamazaki. A very tasty whiskey indeed, but my least favorite personally among the three that I've had. With an ABV of 50% on the nose, it smells like malty grains, sandalwood, and a bit of ethanol or solvent-like. The palate is light fruits and the finish is light spice and fruits such as apple. The price for one 15 milliliter dram at the distillery is 300 yen. The second component whiskey that I've had was the Yamazaki 12 Sherry. I'm really at a loss of words to describe the tasting notes of this. It's like the movie The Matrix. Difficult to describe. You have to try it for yourself. This is one of those whiskeys that tastes like how it smells. The get what you expect treatment. Very good. Probably I would say this is my favorite among the three. It's arguable though. The Mizunara is just about as good as this. The sherry component really features a magical aftertaste. With an ABV of 50% also, on the nose it smells like sherry, strong but not intense, and dried dark fruits such as raisins. The palate is heavy, rich, has dark chocolate, sherry, and dried fruits. The finish is chewable, bittersweet, and very long. It just gets better with time. The price of a 15 milliliter dram of this is also 300 Japanese yen. Finally, the third Japanese component whiskey that I've had was the Yamazaki 12 Mizunara. Aged exclusively in Mizunara wood, this whiskey is very good. I had this along with the other two component whiskeys the same day in the same tasting session. All three were exceptionally good, but I may prefer the exclusive Yamazaki aged 12 years sherry cask flavoring whiskey to this one, and this one second. I let it be known publicly I'm not the biggest fan of the Yamazaki aged 12 years. While it's a passable whiskey overall, in terms of Yamazaki, I think it's the worst of the bunch. Even more worse than the no age statement, which I happen to like. I think all three of the component whiskeys taste better by far than the parts whole Yamazaki age 12 years. These are so good to the point, I think all three should be mass produced and sold worldwide. But that's my opinion. The lady bartender that served me told me that this is her favorite of the three and she explained why one dram of this is three times the price of the others. She says this is the rarest of the bunch because only 3% of the barrels in all of Yamazaki Distillery are this type of Mizunara wood. A word of advice, while all Yamazaki whiskeys across the age range are bottled at 43% ABV, this one 
as well as all the other components are 50%, so they're quite strong. I wish I had known that before consumption, so I could have diluted them with a little bit of water. It was painful to my taste buds keeping it on the tongue too long without having done that. On the nose, this one smells like a light solvent, but if you let sit as long as I did, it lightens up of course in due time and starts to smell a little bit like maple syrup. It's a little floral, and the lady bartender said to her it smells of sandalwood. The palate is spicy, sweet, and dry fruits. The prime fruit in this is oranges. The finish is also spicy and sweet, but also tart and very chewable. One 15 milliliter shot of this dram will cost you 900 Japanese yen. That concludes my review of these three Yamazaki Age 12 component whiskeys, and also the three part video series showing the complete tour of the Yamazaki Whiskey Distillery. If you're ever in the Osaka area, this is a must-do excursion that should be added to everyone's trip. I'd just like to remind you all to drink responsibly and, as always, keep it classy. <laughs>